Hello there, my Aquarius friends. It's Anna. Got my tarot. Got my tea. It's over there in the corner. You can't really see it. It's my last cup of the evening, and then I think I'm going to bed. Anyways, we are looking at the new moon in Leo for you. Now, it's a big new moon, okay? They're calling it the Lion's Gate Portal because it arrives, depending on where you are in the world, it arrives on August 8th. Okay, so the eighth month, eighth day, right? Um, it is Leo season, <laughs> and then um, it's the new moon in Leo, so we've got like this mega trifecta thing going on with all this fiery Leo energy. You know what? When I did Leo's read, it was insane. If you, have, if you have any Leo in your chart, you should go watch it because it was crazy. Three queens. Three queens popped out of the deck for Leo. Crazy. Like, seriously. I was like, what are the odds? Like, you saw me shuffle. <laughs> what are the odds that three queens are going to come out? It was crazy. These cards are bigger than, like, a standard oracle deck. <laughs> so, like, I can stretch. I used to play piano, so I can stretch, like, an octave on a piano. And, and these things, like, are massive. <laughs> All right, so... For my Aquarius friends, for this new moon in Leo... Maybe this air sign will fuel and fire that new moon. So what do we got for our friends? Woo! Oh man, that one hit the floor. Does that mean I should or should not take it or it just really wanted to come out? Wheel of Destiny. King of Cups. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Something emotional going on here, Aquarius. Well, it's Aquarius. I guess we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be too surprised, should we? Lots of blue. Lots of blue here, my friends. All right. So your current situation, your thoughts and feelings about your present. And we have the Wheel of Destiny. Now, the Wheel of Destiny can be tricky, okay? It does indicate good fortune, okay? Uh, it can also indicate a turning point. And now turning points aren't always necessarily in a good direction or for a good reason, okay? So, um, you know, it, it depending on where the wheel stops, you might not be happy with the outcome, okay? We always hope that it's good fortune, right? Um, this is where you currently are, though, so... Really, it could be anywhere, depending on your situation, right? I'll leave that up to you. Whatever resonates, uh, go with that. Now, the life you want and desire is the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is like, I don't know, ultimate, like, you want to husband that up material. Right? He is completely comfortable in his own element. He is supportive, right? He's tolerant. He's empathetic. He's, you know, he understands feelings, both his own and yours. Um, so, and I'm, it, it's not gender specific either. So I say he because it's says king but uh, it could go vice versa here um but i can see why that would be what some people would want right just that that nurturing energy to help um to to be there for you right to support the intentions you should set is the Ace of Cups, which is like, 
this is like the start of this journey and this is the end of it right so the intentions beautiful card by the way look at that dragonfly the intentions to set for the ace of cups is just the newness right a new relationship uh, it could be a new um, a new coming together in in any in any way I say okay it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic okay so it could be um, something that's like work related maybe somebody new is hired at the company and you guys work really well together okay it could be a new union of sorts right um, but say this union and working with this person brings you uh, a promotion or a raise or something like that um, or you just work really well together right you can get other recognition so um, if you you know can embody this and get to this point where you're this this nurturing empathetic energy right regardless of gender okay we're not attaching that here um, but you need to start somewhere so um, either setting intentions for a new relationship if that's what you're looking for or setting intentions for uh, new things at work right uh, setting intentions for a new adventure setting intentions to maybe even just get in touch more with your emotions right because cups is the it's the um, it's the suit of emotions right water so maybe just getting in touch with your own right uh, a little self-love self-care um, finding out what you want a little bit better right maybe be naming things categorizing things figuring some things out right and the message for you from the universe is the devil and nobody ever really likes the devil card but I mean it's it's really just a warning right it's a warning that you don't get caught up in the material everything right because the devil can indicate you know greed lust all of those lovely things envy right obsession um, even even addiction right but the devil isn't necessarily something that traps you you can get away see you down here in this cage if you fall prey to what this card represents this can be you but the cage is open and the key is there so you can leave anytime this is kind of like the eight of swords where it's like self-imposed restriction well this is like self-imposed um, I don't even know what the word would be I don't want to say self-imposed addiction but um, self-imposed punishment almost right from from these things if you fall prey to it once it doesn't mean that that you have to every time so don't get so down on yourself about it all right my Aquarius friends I hope this reading finds you well I hope you set all of the intentions for all of the things that you desire that you want to work on and work towards um, th this new moon and we will see you soon bye for now